What is up, Pokemaniacs? How are you guys doing today, as usual? This is episode 8. As you can tell by the caption. I would like for you guys to answer the question of the day, as usual. And go ahead and hit that like button. The question of the day today is, do you like manga, manga, however would you prefer to say it? Anyways. I have made four videos about this freaking episode so far, and none have come out so great. So, the first video I had to call it a Pokemon. So let's see what this Pokemon is. It is a drowsy summary. We met at Route 11, yeah. We were pretty close but by then, yeah. Anyways, let's read the Pokédex about this Pokémon. I might stop momentarily to see to check out the video file to see if it's straight. So, a descendant of oh well, hold on, y'all know. Drowsy, number ninety-six, and the Pokédex, the Hypnosis Pokémon, a descendant of the legendary animal Baku. Which is said to eat dreams, it is skilled at hypnotism. So you guys want to know about Baku. Just hold on for a second. We're going to find out more about Baku when I get back. Alright, we're back. We're, I had to check the video file to see if there was nothing messed up about it because, I don't know. OBS has been acting weird lately. I don't know why, but yeah. Anyways, hold on, y'all. I'm just checking my Amazon real quick to see when my mic will get here. We're gonna read about uh, Drowsy in a minute. Hold on, y'all. This should be here about a 15. Oh my god. That's more like a dare to me. I can wait. Anyways, hold on y'all. Let's search him up. Baku, the legendary animal. Let's continue on while we read it. Let's go. Anyways, here go a picture of Baku I can show y'all. It kinda looks like Drowsy, doesn't it? So, yeah. It says Baku, the legend of the Dream Eater. The Baku, otherwise known as the Dream Eater, is a mythological being or spirit in Chinese and Japanese folklore. Right, let me put my phone right here by the thing. It says, yeah, which is the devour nightmare. So this is basically a dream eater, basically. Like it says, the Baku cannot be summoned without caution. However, as ancient legends say, that if the Baku is not satisfied after consuming the nightmare, he may also devour one hopes and dreams. So if your nightmare does not satisfy him, well, I wouldn't call it a him, but we don't know what it is. If your nightmare does not satisfy the Baku, the legendary of the Dream Eater, it will consume your hopes and dreams. Okay, let's continue. I love Pokemon, do you? Yes. It says, Tales of Baku, of the Baku, devouring nightmares originated in Chinese folklore later appeared in Japanese folklore between the 14th and 15th centuries and what was known as the Muromashi series ah, I said series <laughs> period, I meant while Babaku is a spiritual being it has well-defined appearances it takes on the form of a chimera a mythological beast comprised, comprised of a variety hold on y'all we got a battle real quick we can, we can, hold on, we don't know what 
That was out of goal. Aerial Ice. Aerial Ice. Good job, Smarrow. Oh. Um, let's hold on real quick. Let's we're gonna go to the uh Poke Center and then we're gonna be right back. Hold on y'all, hold on, hold on. <laughs> This video is freaking stressing y'all, y'all just don't know. But we'll be right back. Alright, we're back. I'm sorry if I'm speaking low, it's just I'm not trying to wake anybody up right now, so Anyways, let's continue reading. Where were we at? Yeah, a, com a, com a mythological beast comprised of a variety of parts from other animals. The Baku is typically depicted with a bear's body, an elephant nose, a tiger's feet and oxen tail, and, and rhinoceros eyes. That is how they said. I'm guessing rhinoceros eyes. So. Who does, how does this po Pokemon look? It has a elephant nose, a bear body, with tiger feet, and rhinoceros eyes. So, you got it. That's Baku right there, but as a Pokemon. So, I collected the Pokemon from all around the world. It says, according to the legend, the Baku was created by the spare pieces that were left over when God fixed that. Ah, let me turn my volume down. Oh, yeah. right. Anyways, it says, the Baku was created by the spare pieces that were left over when the gods finished creating all other animals. So, here go a picture of the Baku. It says descriptions and beliefs and the Baku. What the world? No, I don't want a newsletter. I don't want to join the newsletter, bro. Oh my god, I hate when this happens. Okay. It says descriptions and beliefs. Area life. Descriptions and beliefs in the Baku have changed throughout the years. In ancient Chinese legends, the Baku was an animal that was hunted for its pelt. Hunted for its pelts, whomever killed a Baku would use a blanket made from the pelt as a talisman or an object with magical powers, which would protect them from evil spirits. So people would hunt for a Baku just to use the pelt as a talisman for good luck, I guess. I'm not for sure. And they would repel evil, you know, basically good luck. So, it also says, this practice e I knew it. This practice evolved into one where a pelt was not necessary. And then, in the display of a Baku image over the bed would repel evil spirits. It wasn't until the Baku letters made their way to Japan that the figure was viewed as a dream beater. With this transition, the stories of Baku became consistent and he was continued as a dream eater to this day. So I guess the stories over time has evolved, you know, they say you do this, they say you do that, but back in the day, you call, hold up, where is that, where it says you have to call his name? They're not gonna show it? Hold up, y'all. Cause I'm not even for sure why it's doing this. I'm not talking about my computer, but my phone. Google. Google. I love you, Google. All right, who else can get it in his room? The mom can get it too. We are cruising around the world, my children and I. The Baku. Hold up, y'all. I'm just searching up the Baku so I can finish reading it. 
I'm not really care if Caterpie died. Okay. Okay, it says legend has it that a person who wakes up from a, a bad dream can call out to Baku. A child having a nightmare in Japan will wake up. No, you're not getting a cherry pie because I'm not a waiter. It says a child. Whoa, why do we keep doing it? Okay, a child having a nightmare in Japan will wake up and repeat three times Baku san, come eat my dream. They'll repeat that for three times. And. Legend set bro, what the freak? So this page is not fully loaded. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, legend says that the buck I'm getting pretty irritated right now. But it says I thought he had a ground. Might be some other old man. What a growler. Let's use, uh, Geodude. It says, okay. Legend says that the Baku will come into the child's room and devour the bad dream, allowing his child to go back to sleep peacefully. However, calling to the Baku must be done sparingly. Okay, it must be done sparingly because if he remains hungry after eating one nightmare, he may also devour their hopes and dreams and desires, leaving them to le live an empty life. Bro, come on, Jill, dude, you really taking this? You rock throw or something? You can't get poison. There we go. Boom, there we go. Okay. It says the Baku can all but all of them. Blah. The Baku can also be summoned for protection from bad dreams prior to falling asleep at night. To this day, it remains common for Japanese children to keep a Baku talisman at their bedside. It says today you can find several modern modern representations of the Baku occasionally. A Baku is shown in a form that represents a tapir. I guess that's how you pronounce it. Tapir, as opposed to the traditional Chimera form. I, I bet you I'm pronouncing that too wrong, too. Yes, take a rest. Thank you. You the real MVP. I hope you know that. Um, what else does it say? Hold up, we almost finished reading it. That's okay. Um, okay. It says in 1984, Ashi Momoru's Mamo animated film Beautiful Dreamer depicted a Baku as a tapir. Later, a Baku took on a tapir like form in Pokemon. The Drowsy, Hypno, and Muna Musharna. Muna and Musharna. He should be nice to friends, okay? I think I already battled him. It says characters in the popular Digimon. I freaking hate Digimon. Ah, I just hate it. I'm gonna read past that part. Also has a character called Bakuman or Tapramon that bears similarity to the Baku. The idea of being able to summon a Baku to prevent or end a nightmare is one, is one that can be understood across various cultures and different time periods, and the use of the talismans or symbols or of protection for sleep are common threads seen throughout the history. The Baku has remained on fighting. Which one? Snorlax? Uh. Okay, 
okay, let's finish reading. We only got like a couple sentences left. I'm just trying to look at my camera. I mean, not my camera, but look at my phone and look at the computer screen at the same time. Like, apparently, I can't do that. It says, The use of talismans or symbols of protection for sleep are common threads seen throughout history. The Baku has remained a steady figure in nightmare provision throughout the year. In both Chimera and Tapir form, and it is likely to remain a figure for many years to come. So, I mean, I would like a thumbs up for the knowledge I just gave y'all. I mean, that's not even school. I just schooled y'all on some knowledge about the Baku. About one single Pokemon. So basically, it is a dream eater and it is a figure known throughout the Japanese and Chinese culture as a good luck charm. And for it to uh, be for it to be a nightmare dream eater you know if you don't get full off your nightmares guess what he devouring your hopes and dreams leaving them empty so you know you can't dream on hope nothing you can't do none of that it's over with that one. so you better hope your dreams is mm -mm -mm, finger looking good you know <laughs> anyways let's go ahead and hit Tentacool with a scratch. I want to go ahead and say Happy Valentine's Day, females. To the females that are out there, it's not all about you. It's not all about y'all. Because Valentine's Day, you celebrate it with somebody you love. So it doesn't matter if you have a girlfriend, grandma, mother, sister, you know, a friend. I mean, you can even celebrate it with a dude. Like, that's not even gay. It's not gay at all. I mean, if you take it that way, then you take it that way. Either way as it goes, it's about spending it with the ones you love. You no, know, it's not all about the gifts. Valentine's Day is making somebody feel making somebody feel special, and that they're lucky enough to have you as a friend, girlfriend, son, nephew, grandson, great grandson, all of that. You know. All that good stuff. <sighs> I'm kinda tired, y'all. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I just got me a five port uh, USB thing. It's like an octopus. It's an octopus. And it's a five, no, four port USB. So I got my controller. Uh, yeah, oh, uh, yeah, I forgot, I forgot to tell y'all. I got my wired controller. So it would be more easier for me to play PSP games on it so yeah it's pretty good i got me uh the rock candy i think it's called the cherry blast or something like that but it's red uh see-through rock candy controller it's pretty dope i wonder if i could turn the uh, vibration on here like no not on here but for psp i wonder if you can turn the vibration on. not for sure sparrow is evolving <laughs> What? What? Okay, there we go. We see you, Sparrow. I had to reset OBS because it was tripping. OBS needs to not do that no more. So, in uh, episode one for my Nuzlocke, we'll be out, I think, yeah, today on Valentine's Day. So, after I upload this, I will record for Pokemon White. I'm hoping this video comes out good. So, yeah, found a Stardust. Let's see what a Stardust is, because I never really understood. Uh, oh, look at my trainer card. I got the Boulder Badge and the Cascade Badge. Anyways, Stardust, a pretty red sand with a loose, silky feel. It can be sold at a high price. In that case, and I done had so many Stardusts in my life. Uh, I feel like I had a burp, but then I got a um, hiccup at the same time, but... Can I get a double trouble? Double battle? No? I hear many people get seasick. The captain said he's feeling awfully sick. He was all pale and stuff. Well, you guys already know the deal. We're gonna go ahead and end the video right here. 
Um, for Valentine's Day, guys, I want you guys to have the most blessed day that you can have. And this is just coming straight from the heart. No matter who you are, if you don't got anybody, you got me. I'm always here for you. You know, my Twitter's always open for you to chat with. You know, all that good stuff. Uh, might not be much, but hey, I'm something. Anyways, I love you guys. I gained two new subscribers. I'm thankful for them. Shouts out to y'all. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and say, yeah, just give me five to seven likes as usual. And answer the question of the day, if you will. And I thank you that you made it this far <laughs> for hearing all my nonsense. But, anyways, keep a fiery heart and a fiery spirit. Donnie Pokemon is out. Have a blessed Valentine's Day, guys. I love you. Thank you.